Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. These are going to be your true love messages for Valentine's Day for my dearest fellow Geminis. Geminis, before I get started, I'm just going to ask that you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the decks that I'm using. Um, I have them listed and linked in order of appearance. Now, I will be using some adult-themed decks, so the reading could get naughty from time to time, so if that's not your your thing, go ahead and skip on over to another video. For those of you who are going to stay, um, I urge you to leave a comment if you feel called to do so, and also ring that notification bell so you can get updates whenever I upload anything new. All right, Gemini, let's go ahead and see what's going on between you and your person, okay, or somebody you're romantically, energetically linked to. All right, messages for my Geminis. All right, so we're going to keep it. You're showing up as the Empress energy. Yummy. Perfect. Taurus or Libra energy, you might have that in your chart. But you just might be, somebody's looking at you as gorgeous, amazing, has you on a high pedestal, see you as life partner material. All right, your person is showing up as the Three of Wands in reverse. Okay, interesting. Um, the connection, uh, the characteristics that bring you guys together, the four of wands in reverse. Okay. So both of you may have been through a divorce or separation. Um, but again, you guys might also, you might be soulmates and twin flames and you guys, no matter what happens between you guys, you always sort of pull back together. All right. The relationship, the strengths of this card, we get the eight of wands. All right. The weaknesses, we get the five of wands in reverse. Oof. All right, and our true love card, we get the five of swords in reverse. Okay, Gemini, some of you guys are absolutely coming out of conflict from this with this person. I am picking up on this being a counterpart situation. So you might, this might be your twin. It might be a soulmate. Your overall energy, we have the nine of swords in reverse. So Gemini, where you guys have been really, really up in your head, or maybe your person, I actually think both of you about this connection. For some reason, I'm seeing that you guys aren't together right now, or maybe you've had an argument or there's emotional distance between you guys. Um, but this is coming to an end. Okay. So you might be getting some really sweet messages around Valentine's day or just something that really makes you, you know, get into your feels and feel better about this current situation. Okay. So you're coming out as the Empress energy. I mean, she is gorgeous. She is somebody who's very successful, very beautiful. Also somebody who's very attractive. Um, not only just to, you know, people that want to get with her, but she's also attractive in the sense that she can manifest so easily. So somebody really does have you on high pest. Ha, bleh, I can't speak, <laughs> has you on a high pedestal here and sees you as absolutely gorgeous and long-term material. I mean, the Empress energy, she's somebody that, you know, that somebody wants to have a family with or wants to create a life with, um, whatever that means. Remember, that's going to look different for all of us. Um, so your partner may be an Aries Leo Sag. They're showing up as the Three of Wands. So the Three of Wands is interesting energy because for me, it's somebody who's like who's like into import export. They're somebody who has their own business or they're, you know, they're sort of they may be somebody who's also at a distance here. So I do feel like for some of you guys, this person might be coming in from overseas or they're coming like traveling in to see you. But when the three of wands is in reverse, there's been a little bit of a setback and your person is trying to make a very important decision. Gemini, some of you guys, your person is trying to decide whether or not to move towards you, like make a big move, like change house or, you know, get a job somewhere that's close to you. Um, for some of them, they're trying to figure out how to move towards you, how to approach you, how to, how to come back together with you. So your connection this is the four of wands. So this is, you know, many of you guys may be married to this person, may have been married to this person. Um, I do feel like this person is keeping an eye on you, Gemini, and you look amazing. Okay. I get there's a lot of passion between you guys. I get this person is very, very attracted to you. But what I am seeing is there are some sort of obstacles here in the way, whether that's work, whether that's other people, maybe you guys are in other connections, um, you know, whatever it might be, it might be self-confidence, I don't feel so much on your part, Gemini, because you're coming out as the empress, but your person just is trying to figure out how to approach you, how to talk to you, um, what the perfect gift will be for you, you know, what they need, you know, what they should do at this point in time. 
Um, so the strengths of your relationship, it's interesting. We have the eight of wands. So I feel like communication might be cut off, you guys. Like you might not be talking to this person or, you know, there just might be some radio silence that you quite, you might not quite understand. Again, I get another message, same off of the three of wands card. Now I'm an intuitive reader. So I'm, you know, my intuitive hits may be different than a traditional reading. But what I'm getting is this person is moving towards you. But after a period of separation or radio silence, Silence. Um, the Eight of Wands, though, in the strength position in reverse is, um, is also telling me that there's like a telepathic communication connection between you guys. And so it doesn't matter if you guys are actually physically together or not, or if you're actually talking, that you're, your souls are in constant communication, even if you're not, you know, even if you're not talking, even if there aren't a lot of messages, even if you guys are far apart. Now, this person may also have a job is what I'm getting that takes them abroad, whether they're like a pilot or whether they're in the military or whatever they might do, businessman, businesswoman that takes them abroad. And it's almost like I love this eight of wands in reverse because it's a card of no communication. But in this, in this deck, it's like you see this ship coming back in and it's coming back in quite quickly. We see a tower in the back. So there may have been a tower moment or a sudden, you know, a sudden change in, you know, in their plans. Um, that either took them away from you or is bringing them back. They might have had a tower moment too that's sort of like there. I feel like they might be silently coming in to surprise you. Okay, like, hey, I'm here. Okay. <laughs> All right, so the weaknesses of the card, we have the Five of Wands. So the Five of Wands is about competition. It's about struggle. It's about bickering. So you guys might have a tendency to get into little arguments um, that aren't that important when there's something much bigger to be t to be discussed. Um, your person may get a lot of attention, Gemini, or maybe you, or maybe both of you. So again, you know, you guys might have a tendency to argue about, you know, other people getting involved in your relationship. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that there's betrayal, but I do feel like there's like a flirty energy either around your person. Again, if your person is abroad a lot as well, you know, you might wonder like, okay, what are they doing? Or, you know, you just might be a little bit uncomfortable with the attention that, you know, your partner gets or they with you. But I do see a little bit of bickering. But what's beautiful is this card is coming in out in the reverse. I feel like you guys with the five of swords and the five of wands in reverse, any conflict that you guys have had is going to be resolved also with the nine of swords because you guys have definitely been triggered by whatever's going on between you guys, this lack of communication, this distance, this separation. Okay, because you, you guys really are, you know, I do pick up on you guys being soulmates. Your outcome card five of swords in reverse yeah you guys are coming out of conflict something is being resolved something here is being healed gemini all right i love this energy so it has not been easy we have 55 coming out um, we also have 33. So 33 is about learning tough life lessons. So this is definitely a spiritual lesson for you guys. Um, again, if you guys are on a twin flame journey, you know what that means. That makes a lot of sense. You guys are triggering each other for things to be healed and cleared and brought to the surface. And that's not always easy. 55 is about conflict. It's about change. But I love that they're coming out in reverse because that means they want to. They don't want to fight with you. They don't want to be in conflict. Things are going to be resolved. Yeah, look at this separation, two of cups in reverse. So you guys are soulmates, something here has happened. It may be like a brief separation, a brief not talking to each other, or maybe it's been quite some time. All right, but we get the world, beautiful. I love this. So you guys might be very different. Um, the world is a fixed energy. You both might be quite stubborn. Um, you guys, I feel like both have quite cultivated interests. Um, you guys might also both be sort of, you, I feel like you guys mirror each other in a way, you know, because I've got these three threes that, you know, that you're both very maybe successful or you own your own businesses um, or you've been through very similar past situations. Maybe both have been through, you know, messy divorces or separations, even if you come from very different backgrounds, because the world card to me is about also you guys may be looking very different, whether that's racially, ethnically whatever having cultural differences age differences that sort of thing but it does just work okay and the two of cups in reverse takes me back to the ace of cups so there's a possibility here of a new beginning something that's going to make you very happy you guys are also closing out a beautiful karmic cycle something that's given you a lot of anxiety okay so it's a brilliant success yeah. So here we have Cancerian energy. Some of you may be Gemini Cancer cusps, but what I'm getting is this energy. When you guys were apart from each other, you both felt very stuck you couldn't move on from each other. 
you absolutely, it's like you, it's like maybe you tried again with this five of wands, you know, you might've, you might've tried to date. You might've tried to move on. Even if it's been ages or years, it's like you always come back to this person. Yeah. Because you guys are soulmates and this is a reunion. It's simply love between you guys. Some of you may have a family together. Um, but what I'm seeing is this is a beautiful reconciliation or you guys are closing out a tough cycle and you guys are really like having a new honeymoon, renewing your vows, um, or just that sort of beautiful makeup. Like, you know what, baby, I can't live without you. I can't live without you either. You know, it's really beautiful. It's really sweet energy. And we've got the two of cups, the four of wands and the six of cups, which for me are all really important soulmate cards. So we get the eight of cups. Somebody's coming back, but I feel like you guys always come back to each other and you have an agreement to find each other each lifetime. Gemini, this is so sweet and romantic. It's like, you know, I'm going to get teary eyed here. <laughs> All right, so let's get a little naughty here and see what's going on with these love and lust cards. So let's see what's going on. Messages for my Geminis. Hmm. You know, this makes me really happy because I was, well, I wasn't concerned. It just was very sort of cerebral energy. But Gemini, just don't doubt how much they love you, how they just see you as this gorgeous person. Male or female, doesn't matter. Um but it's almost like they know they want to spend the rest of their life with you. Some of you guys, you are divorced from this person. Okay. All right. So we're getting expect to be surprised by someone you haven't seen in a while. Yeah. Reunion, your soulmate, your soulmate comes a knocking and that a little while for you could be, you know, eight hours. It could be, you know, eight days, eight weeks. Don't ask me where I'm getting the number eight, but it might be important to some of you. Okay, we get, I can't get out of my head about you. The pain of not knowing where we stand eats at me every second of the day. This is your person, Gemini. Whatever has happened between you guys, and again, for some of you, it's gonna be years or decades. Some of you, it's gonna be hours or days or weeks, but they, they're tortured. They are tortured. They wanna come out of the cold. They don't wanna have you know conflict with you. They just want resolution. It's like they just want their Gemini back. <laughs> All right, we get my insatiable appetite for every part of you consumes my very need to rip your clothes off and take what is mine and devour you completely. So the passion, you guys, I feel like there's, there's going to be a beautiful homecoming, beautiful homecoming. And for some of you guys, this person is just away. Okay, they could be incarcerated. They could be, you know, in the military. Um, they could be, you know, just have a job that takes them away. Okay. And we get the person you're dealing with loves to be sexually surprised. They're infatuated with mystery and is turned on by secret eroticism. Move in silence. Let the passionate games begin. For some of you guys, you are going to be getting, I'm getting with this eight of wands in reverse and that three of wands in reverse. It's like what you've been waiting for. Um, you know, I think they're trying to figure out how they can surprise you. Some of you guys are going to be getting an unexpected knock at your door. Um, you know, they're going to, they might set up something to say like they can't make it. I don't want to ruin the surprise for you though, but like, oh, last minute plans. I can't actually get there for Valentine's day, set you up and boom. <laughs> All right. So that's pretty awesome. Um, the moment you've been waiting for has finally arrived. Your love interest is about to confess their love to you. Yeah, I love this. Lots of reconciliation energy here. Now, if you guys are absolutely against having an ex come back into your life, take this how it resonates. It could be somebody that you knew before that you never dated, somebody from your childhood or just from your past. Maybe you work together. But for many of you, because I'm picking up on really strong soulmate energy, Geminis, this is... Um, <laughs> This is, you know, just a past life soulmate. So somebody, again, where you have this beautiful contract to meet and find each other, you know, it, wherever you might be, whatever lifetime, you know, in every lifetime. It's really like, it's really heartwarming, Gemini. <laughs> it's really, it's beautiful. Okay. It's almost maudlin sweet, like sticky sweet, but you know what? You deserve it. And it's Valentine's Day. Okay, so we get integrity. So does the situation align with your values and morals? Okay, put away the computer. Working less will help strengthen your relationship. Yeah, so again, it could. I do feel like somebody here, whether it's you or them, Gemini, gets taken away a lot with work or has a very heavy work focus. 
and we get new love, a new love or recommitment to love is develop, developing. So again, both of those storylines, it's soulmate energy. Okay. It absolutely is soulmate energy. Um, it's a recommitment or it's just your soulmate finding you in this lifetime. It's, it's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. And you've been up in your head about this. Some of you guys have been single for quite some time, maybe even given up on love. Um, and this is, and again, this integrity, like <laughs> this integrity card is, is interesting because they don't want me to focus that much on it, but it's almost like some of you guys have sworn off of love either because of this breakup or because of what's happened in love. And so you're like, you're being totally surprised here and you're, you might have to sort of backtrack on, you know, if you were saying, you know, like love stinks, that type of, that type of energy, or I'm never going to do that again. All right, so we get release your ex, beautiful. Okay, so some of you guys have some healing to do. Um, I am getting with this integrity too. Some of you guys might be meeting somebody. You know, the emperor and the three of wands could also be that you met this person when you were in a commitment or they were in a commitment, okay? But um, you would already know that, okay? And that would be why maybe you guys, even if you guys did hook up or it was a one night thing, um, or you couldn't get together because it couldn't move forward because somebody was stuck in another commitment or maybe it was even work. Okay. Um, and again, if it's this person coming back, this card also for me is about, you know, if they, this person has gone through a major transformation and realization, and I'm sure that you have too during your separation. Okay. So again, just understand that they're the same person, but also there are things that have changed. Okay. And they're coming back new. So we get retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So you guys may have, you know, been on this retreat, but you're calling in your soulmate. I feel like they're manifesting you, Gemini, here big time. Um, but again, you're calling in your soulmate. Um, and for many of you guys, it is going to be a reconciliation or it's just a past life soulmate. Um, but I do feel like you guys are going to have a passionate sort of you and them and shut out the world for you know, a night or a weekend or whatever it might be. Again, a passionate, beautiful homecoming is what I'm getting. All right, Geminis. So we get, um, you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there's always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. Beautiful. Okay, so again, that could be the separation or even a breakup here, um, but it's bringing you a huge blessing. And we see that with the two of cups in reverse. Beware of what you're projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Again, many of you guys might be dealing with a twin flame here or a mirrored soulmate where you guys have a tendency to mirror each other. So um, equally, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. So taking this time on your own to just sort of see what you could work on or where you could up level. And we get when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. And this to me is about you guys having this contract to find each other each lifetime, Gemini, that you guys recognize that, you know, whatever's going on in the 3D, that you guys are at home with each other, that you guys are meant to be together. And all the other stuff going on just doesn't seem to matter. I see that you guys, when you guys, you know, when you guys kiss, when you guys, you know, when you, you know, hug or when you see each other across the room, like everything else drops away and almost like time stops. It's very romantic, Gemini. So I'm going to leave it there. I hope you guys find clarity and guidance in this reading. Um, thank you guys for listening. I hope you have a beautiful day. Take care.